Hey everyone, it's Audrey from Mom Generation. So I wanted to do a follow-up video. Today is August 9th. Victoria was born July 9th, so she's exactly one month old. And uh, she's just like the sweetest thing that's ever entered our lives. Everyone's in love with her. All the boys, obviously I am, my husband, um, our family. It just, um, she's just like the sweetest thing in the world. So, um, but I wanted to update because I know that I've kind of been... Um, you know, talking about it on Facebook a little bit and then blogging about it just a tiny bit, but I've just had such a terrible um, recovery over the last four weeks. It's just, you know, I didn't expect it. I really, with Henry, I had a C-section. I bounced back quite literally within two weeks. I mean, it was like almost crazy. And, uh, you know, I had my other three boys. Um, I didn't have C-sections for them. And the recoveries were so long for me. That's why when I had a C-section for Henry and it went so smoothly, I 100% thought that the C-section for Victoria would go just as smooth. And uh, the C-section itself was a piece of cake. Obviously, I'm kind of, you know, I don't feel it. And the recovery in the hospital was great. And even the week after, but exactly two weeks ago, you know, I started to get like almost like a stabbing, burning pain on the left side of my incision. Like not on, like outside, kind of feeling like in the inside. Um, the incision itself looks awesome, but, um, and it looks great, not infected, but it's, uh, you know, just this ongoing pain and the pain has not gone away. It's been two weeks. Um, I've gone to the hospital twice and talked to my doctors and, you know, there's kind of like, you know, I actually went back to the hospital yesterday where they did an ultrasound to see if it was a hernia or anything like that. And fortunately, it doesn't look like it's a hernia, which is um, a good thing. It's always fun to be able to check things off that it's not. But then you're left going, well, why do I still have discomfort? Why do I still have pain? So what they think it might be is kind of like a pinched nerve underneath, obviously, my incision, where, you know, potentially the stitches when they were put in, the dissolvable stitches may have stitched an actual nerve. And if that happens, it can cause this kind of pain. And uh, you got to wait until the stitches dissolve for really any sort of discomfort to kind of go away. And that could take up to 10 months. And so not 10 months. Well, I hope it's not 10 months. Ah, uh, 10 weeks. And, uh, and it could take months. I mean, I've looked online where people have kind of felt it for years on and off. So I'm hoping that's not me. But, um, you know, that unfortunately right now is kind of what I'm, I'm dealing with. And then on top of that... Because as you know, reading my blog or watching my videos, I'm someone that never really complains about anything medical. You know, I'm a pretty healthy girl, don't even really get head colds, and uh, I had two root canals on Tuesday done. So my mouth was like out to here, which the swelling seems to be down now, but um, it's the incision pain. You know, it, you know, I got to be honest, I've shed a lot of tears about it because, you know, I waited so long for Victoria and um, even before the pregnancy, I waited so long for her and it just even sometimes hurts to stand and, uh, you know, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I want to find out exactly what it is. Um, you know, I kind of, you hate to say, I kind of hope it's just a pinched nerve that eventually will go away and that obviously it's nothing more serious, but, um, you know, having the ultrasound yesterday, it did make me feel a bit better because um, it did rule out a lot of things and they were able to see everything and everything else looked good obviously down there so I just uh, I just want an update you know it's um you know besides the medical things everything's been great you know will uh, Victoria has been a great sleeper the boys have been gigantic helps with everything my husband is like my anchor saving grace can't say enough he gets up every single night with her because um, you know it's still tough for me even just recovering to to even get up in the middle of the night and walk around with her so uh, he's just been I can't even say enough I owe him big 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 time so just wanted to do a quick update, just to kind of let everybody know what was going on, and uh, you know what to ask for some prayers and for some positive, uh, positive vibes our way. So that you know, I, I said it when Matt went through everything a good uh, year and a half ago. If you have your health and you have your family, that's the most important thing in the world. Those two things, health and family. And uh, you know, it's just uh, right now. I just, I just want my health. I want my health to be perfect so I can take care of my family and uh, do all the things that I, I was able to do before. So just wanted to do a quick update, and uh, I will keep updating, but this one was long overdue.